This one's kind of a joke. We're going to be writing an RTFM script. So let's just jump into it. We're going to say, I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, and we'll type out, uh, we'll call it RTFM. And we're going to uh, add our shebang line here, bin bash. And then we'll uh, start our script off, and we're just going to say man space dollar sign at symbol. The at symbol basically takes anything after the command and puts it in there. So basically, it's an argument that you would type out after you type that command. Uh, I've done tutorials on that. Uh, go ahead and uh, if I remember, which I probably won't, I'll put a uh, you know uh, annotation to the video on arguments in Bash. Uh, but basically, when we run this script, we'll type in the name of our script. We'll do forward slash rtmf uh, rtfm, and uh, then whatever we want to learn about. So I'll say grep as an example. And this will grab anything we type after the name of the script and put it there. So we'll run the man for that file, the manual. Next, in case that isn't helpful, we'll do xdg-open. And we're going to say http forward slash forward slash or colon forward slash forward slash lmgtfy.com. If you're unfamiliar with that site, check it out. It stands for let me Google that for you dot com. We're going to do a forward slash question mark and Q because that's going to be our query, what we're searching for. And once again, we'll add in our dollar sign at symbol for our argument variable. And that's it. That's the whole script. We're going to save that. We're going to change the mode of it to make it executable. I'm going to say RTFM. And now we just have to do dot slash the name of our script and then whatever we want to learn about. And once again, I'll use grep as an example. So we'll say grep. I'll hit enter here and it brings up the grep manual. And then when we hit Q to get out of the grep manual, it will automatically open up whatever web browser is our default, type in the search for us and click search. So uh, now you have all the information on grep that you want. Let's do another example here. We'll do, once again, the name of our script, and we'll do Vim for the text editor. There we go. We have the manual file for Vim. I hit Q to get out of that. It opens up the browser, automatically does a search for Vim for me. So once again, this is more of kind of a little joke. Uh, I actually got the idea off of uh, uh, command line foo or command foo line, command line foo dot com. Uh, where people just post random one-liners. Um, and I changed it from just doing a regular Google search to doing a let me Google that for you search. Uh, so uh, once again, just kind of a joke, but you know, a little interesting idea. And uh, go ahead and play with it. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com. Check out the links in the description. Have a great day.